What's going on? How are you guys today? We are going to make a caprese salad, which is probably as Italian as it gets. And you know, when you go in a restaurant, any appetizer or dish is pretty expensive compared to the ingredients that you buy in the supermarket. But when you go organic and high quality, it's actually about the same. You know, that's the reason these restaurants don't actually serve high quality food. They'd have to charge, you know, 40, 50, 60 dollars, something crazy for a plate of tomatoes and mozzarella. But when you make it yourself, not only is it going to be healthier for you when you go organic, when you remove a lot of the negative agrochemical concerns, it also tastes much better because when the quality is in the soil, the quality ends up in the food. Let me show you guys the attention to detail that will make this that much better. Main ingredients, tomato and mozzarella. You want the highest quality you have access to as you know this comprises most of the dish. So if you can go local, organic, that's ideal. The tomatoes, whatever looks redder, will generally have more flavor and it's also good for presentation. The mozzarella is tough though. You know, hopefully in the future when I have my whole dairy operation, we're providing some of the highest quality mozzarella there is, but most of the time you're just gonna have to go with, you know, like this Whole Foods brand, which isn't that great for you made from conventional milk. And the organic mozzarella tends to be, you know, hard, low moisture, which isn't that great for this dish. Of course, we have some basil, classic salt and pepper for seasoning, olive oil, and what I like, which you might not see in every caprese salad, is balsamic vinegar. Uh, this is Acido Balsamico Massimo Bottura, uh, which isn't like legitimately aged, a balsamic of Modena, but it's affordable. Like this is $40, which seems kind of expensive, but if you wanted legitimate aged balsamic of Modena that was like this concentrated and syrupy and sweet with a level of acidity that balances it and makes it really, really delicious, you're spending like $150, $200. So this is like a more affordable version of what they would normally age in a barrel for like 20, 30 years. If you haven't tried it, uh, I really like this with steak. You know, I definitely didn't buy this just for you know a caprese salad so we have our tomato and mozzarella nicely sliced i just get a really sharp chef's knife for the tomato just go back and forth you know a quarter of an inch isn't uh, too thin it's not that difficult to cut the mozzarella can be a little tricky uh, you just want to go down in one swift motion with a decent amount of pressure and you should get a nice slice like that now, now this is where it makes the difference because if you just put this on a plate as it would be presented at the table and then you seasoned it not every individual piece would be you know, seasoned evenly. So if we spread everything out on a cutting board like this, we can take our salt and just gently sprinkle it on every single inch of every piece of tomato and mozzarella. And you don't have to do both sides because the seasoning will uh, seep through. Then we're gonna do the pepper. Just a nice gentle crack. And I don't think you really have to do this with the pepper, but definitely with the salt. All right, so we're just gonna start plating. We go tomato, mozzarella, and we take a sprig of fresh basil, and you wanna slap it like all the nasty women in your life that talk back to you. And uh, guys, that's just a joke. I only hit women when they ask me to. So we got the basil. So when you hit it, the oils in the basil kind of seep out and it makes it more aromatic, and it goes on the mozzarella and tomato that it's layered between. So if your cheese and tomatoes were room temperature, this is good to go. I mean, if you're a nut job and had your tomatoes in the fridge or the mozzarella just came out, then you, know, you wanna let this sit for 10, 15 minutes, let it get to room temperature, you know, let that salt and pepper soak in a little bit. As you guys can expect, the olive oil and balsamic is really simple. We're just gonna you know, drip it on top. And this balsamic is really tasty. But if you just have regular balsamic vinegar, uh, then you can make like a vinaigrette with it in some salt and pepper, and you probably don't want to put as much on. But this stuff is really acidic, sweet, nicely balanced, so I put plenty on there. I'm sorry you guys don't get to see Gina this week. It's very late and everyone is asleep, but I guess I have to try this for you guys. So I'm just taking a bite of everything, basil, mozzarella, tomato, in the balsamic with olive oil. And yeah, every ingredient on its own, it's not that great, but when you combine the mozzarella, the tomato, the basil, the salt, the pepper, the olive oil, balsamic, all in one bite. It's truly, truly delicious. And I mean it, you know, if you don't have that piece of basil in there, if you don't have just the right amount of pepper, it's not nearly as good as it can be. So definitely try this out. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope your family enjoys this. 
But as always, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.